Hi, this is Bob Garfield from Advertising Age. The Super Bowl is over. What do we think? <laughs> okay, so we're in a dust bowl economy, but 33 brands thought it was uh, high time to spend $100,000 per second to get their messages across. They thought it was time to reach 100 million viewers. And about, uh, you know, about 15 of them were right. The others were, were kind of wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Look at the mug on you. Diane, you're a train wreck. That's why he only sent a box of flowers. Go home to your romance novels and your fat, smelly cat. Okay, I'm starting with what I think is the worst spot that appeared on the Super Bowl. Uh, this thing from Teleflora was just... It was awful. It was, it was just mean. Uh, it was cruel to you know, homely Americans everywhere. And furthermore, the, the brand premise is, is so thin. The notion that because uh, your flowers are delivered in a vase, you're somehow getting superior quality uh, compared to the ones that are delivered in a box. That's a pretty long stretch. And uh, to, uh, to, to take this really nasty approach, I found uh, pretty appalling. We don't have four-star advertising in the Super Bowl every year, but this year uh, we had two spots that I think, thought were worthy of four stars. Uh, one was for Monster.com, uh, doing a gag that I have just simply never seen before. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think that's very funny. And it also, I think, describes the <laughs> the degradation that many of us uh, believe is our, our, our employment situation. Then there was the spot for Coke Zero, which took a cherished bit of American cultural uh, iconography and uh, gave it a little twist. Mr. Palomalo? Yeah. You need any help? Mm-mm. You want my Coke Zero? No. Nah. Really? You can have it. Coke Zero and okay. the smile. We're Coke brand managers. Coke Zero stole our taste, and they are not stealing our commercial. Hey! The reference, obviously, is to the famous, uh, sacred Mean Joe Green spot from, I think, the 1980 Super Bowl. This time they used the Steelers' Troy Palomalu. Uh, and you think it's going to be a complete remake until these guys, uh, the, the brand managers supposedly from Coke, show up. And I just think it's a brilliant way to... to uh, exploit the, the uh, residual value of that famous commercial and then uh, to layer on the attitude that, that is Coke Zero. I, just, just fantastic. Uh, here's a couple more good commercials. You want me to take care of it? I think it's time we let everyone know what happens to people. Let everybody know what happens to Isn't it time for a serious breakfast? This Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 2, Denny's is giving a free Grand Slam to everyone in America. TV only softens the brain like a ripe banana to take it all the way. We've created Hulu. Hulu beams TV directly to your portable computing devices, giving you more of the cerebral gelatinizing shows you want anytime, anywhere, for free. Uh, I'm going to start with Denny's. I have absolutely no idea how they're going to give a free breakfast to everyone in America. That, that's, that sounds like a daunting task. But I just love the idea that they noticed uh, that, that mobsters uh, who will never talk on a telephone for fear of being wiretapped by the FBI will go into every diner in North Jersey to discuss their nefarious plans. Uh, that's very clever. And the, the kicker here of uh, the smiley face on, on the pancakes made me laugh out loud. And Hulu, I mean, God bless these people. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're saying that uh, television rots their brain and now they can rot your brain much more efficiently through the miracle of the computing machine. Just beautiful. Alec Baldwin uses the same uh, attitude and, and edge that he, uh, that he employs in his NBC show 30 Rock. Uh, get, gets the attitude of the brand across brilliantly. As Super Bowls of advertising go, this game wasn't bad. There were a number of highlights, not too many debacles. But uh, there are a lot of spots that do what Super Bowl ads so often do, which is uh, 
being too clever by half. I, I want you to look at this. But the car was still in park, so. <laughs> you should call me sometime. Absolutely, yeah. Hello? Hi, it's Mike from the party. How about dinner? Now that's, you know, that's not a bad gag. I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, like the, the scene in Swingers where John Favreau uh, gets the, the girl's digits and then uh, starts dialing uh, three days too soon and, and eventually just completely humiliates himself. Uh, but even crisper. And then everything just falls apart. Watch the rest. Oh, Mom, Dad, is this Hi. her? Think outside the bun. So does he give her dinner? Does he take her to dinner? He's moving way too fast on the relationship. What exactly is the joke here? I, who knows? It gets lost in way too much. And in the meantime, I have absolutely no idea what delicious new Taco Bell entree is being introduced. It, and I think nobody else has any idea either. Much was uh, said before the game about this being the, uh, the Dust Bowl Super Bowl, a one that was going to be so overshadowed by our economic circumstances that advertisers wouldn't be edgy and that many of the ads would make some sort of reference to, uh, to this very deep and dark recession. Well, I only counted four. Uh, one for, uh, for Bud Light, one for uh, E-Trade, one for Hyundai and its, its uh, contract ad that, that allows you to return your car uh, if you lose your job and can't pay for it. And, uh, and then there was this. Here's money with gold at an all-time high. Now's the time to send your unwanted gold for cash, like these gold cufflinks. I can get cash for this gold medallion of me wearing a gold medallion. This gold microphone. My gold records. What? The? You know, one hardly knows where to begin. I mean, I, I don't know whether I'm saddest because Ed McMahon and MC Hammer are reduced to humiliating themselves like this, or because NBC itself is in such dire straits that it, uh, it needs to take the $3 million from a direct response advertiser on the Super Bowl showcase of advertising worldwide, uh, or simply because I am absolutely certain this will have the best ROI of any ad on this game. Uh, millions and millions of people are going to send in their jewelry and their dental work and get their 17 cents on the dollar from this advertiser for their gold. And uh, it makes you wonder, as, as all of the financial and economic underpinnings of the media and marketing business are collapsing before our eyes, what is left if not creativity? And if this ad, which is sort of anti-creative, is, as I'm sure it will be, the most successful spot on the Super Bowl, where does that leave the industry? What is left? And if you can answer that question to the satisfaction of the leading national advertisers, why well, I believe uh, they will happily surrender cash for gold. This is Bob Garfield, the ad critic for Advertising Age. Thanks for sitting through the 2009 wrap-up in 12 short months. We all get to do it again. <laughs>